Jeremy Roenick rejoins the show here in studio this time. Jeremy, how you doing, man? You did that very well. That's a great intro. So, and uh, happy to be here. Craziness in the National Hockey League. Obviously, representing Coors Light. We've done it all year. You, know, you talk about uh, fan experiences. I've met a lot of unbelievably fun people throughout this uh, this whole year doing uh, the Coors events and what you were saying. Pop, we're doing the Papa shot with the crushed cans and. The it's easy thing about the easy thing about hockey fans is that it's if they need a crushed beer can, they'll the, just crush the, it right exactly, there. Exactly, exactly. Oh, I've got a full beer here, but hang on for a <laughs> sec. We chug this, we'll crush it, and yeah, then we'll shoot it at right. the net. That's right. The official beer of the National Hockey League. There's no question about it. It's a good way to watch a game tonight. And obviously, games. There's some good games coming yeah. up here tomorrow. Stanley Cup playoffs have been fun this year. They really are fun every year. But how about Ovechkin finally getting finally. through? And pushing through and getting through Sidney Crosby and the Penguins to do so. Yeah. What mm -hmm. did that make you feel watching Ovi finally break through that glass ceiling? Uh, for me, being an Ovi fan and knowing him like I do and knowing how bad he wants to win a championship. And I know it crushes him every year. You know, 50 goals, 50 goals, 50 goals, 600 goals. I bet you he would trade all of them in for a chance to win a Stanley Cup. But for him to not be able to get over it, especially with the team that he's had for the last couple of years. Really good team. Yeah, frustrating. So you like to see the best players in the game achieve that that goal to win a championship because it just solidifies their place in history. And for Alex Ovechkin, um, you saw the elation on his face. It doesn't matter who scores the goal, but the fact that they got over the that second round hump in 20 years, but the fact that they did it against Sidney Crosby and the Penguins made Perfect. it made it a, just an absolutely amazing you know front page headliner. What's different about this year's Caps team that? The other teams didn't have. Uh, you know, I think after they lost those first two games, the first two games against at Columbus. home against Columbus, yeah. I think it was a wake-up call. I think this is a team that has all the talent in the world. Always does. Always talent, but it comes down into their minds. If they want to decide that they want to work and play playoff hockey, and, and I'm talking about committed work. I mean, you see what Las Vegas Golden Knights are doing right now. They're, they're winning games and, and putting themselves in position to win a Stanley Cup with zero superstars. Because they work and yeah. they work longer than ever uh, than anybody else. Washington will work for five minutes and then take twenty minutes off. And in those twenty minutes, they make a lot of mistakes. They end up losing the hockey game. You see, when Washington, like they have over the last series and a half now, is they put the mental work in and they prepare themselves to work harder, work harder for longer. Whoever works harder longer wins the games, and that's what Washington's been able to do. Jeremy Roenick joins us here in studio talking about the Stanley Cup playoffs. Speaking of Vegas, this is the most improbable, crazy run that an expansion team with no superstars, mm -hmm. cast-offs and misfits, could be playing in the Western Conference Finals. Can you remember something in hockey as crazy as this? No. There's nothing in sports without the ex with the exception of Leicester winning the, the Premier League a few years back. Yeah, I think it was like 5,000 to 1 or yeah. something like that for Leicester to win and they ended up winning the, the the Premier League. Here, they've they've taken all of sports and put it on their on you know on its ear. For an expansion team uh, to come out, especially in a, in a in a major sport like like ice hockey, to come out in the National Hockey League and just, I mean, put in one of the top five best seasons of the year. I mean, it's uh, it's just incredible. And it's it started in, in October when you know during the you know the shooting and what happened in Vegas and it's. It kind of all came together as a as a as a community, and boy, that the, the guys have really em embraced uh, this the city. The city's embraced them, and, and they're impressive. And like I told you, they're the hardest working team in the National Hockey League We've by got far. One of their studs, Nate Schmidt, who's going to join us on the show in the third hour this morning. You got you got to ask them for me. Why? Like, what makes him so happy every day? You he's, know, he's, we had him on a couple weeks ago. He couldn't stop smiling. He could nope. hear it through the phone. He's the he's giggling the whole time. The two guys that put the, that show their energy and show how much they love life and love the game more than anybody in the game is Nate Schmidt and Mark Andre Fleury, and they're on the same team. Yeah, that's interesting. And yeah, he, he just he can't stop talking, right? So it's like it's like me. I can't stop talking too because of my <laughs> excitement. But he does. He, he's learned to do it with a smile all the time. Yeah. And he's, it's an infectious. It's an infectious kind of feeling from him. So. Tell him I said good stuff. I will. We've got game number seven, Smashville against Winnipeg. Who do you like in this game? You know, I I, I, uh, I liked Winnipeg last uh, the other night. I We're thought at home at chance home, to close. I was at the game. I was dressed in white. I was you know I was all into the game and thinking that Winnipeg was gonna was gonna finish it. I mean you would expect that after a six two beating in Nashville. Yep. But Nashville came out and was played a flawless hockey game. 
And I think if they can come out and do that again, and where I think the way they can't get into the trap is trying to entertain the fans. Don't try to go out and play a run and gun, run and gun, track meet sort of game. They beat Winnipeg in Winnipeg the last two games because they slowed the game down. They played really good defensively. They played a boring style of game. They took a very fast team that likes to play fast and play physical and frustrated them. And obviously Pecorine is, is going to be very important. Forsberg was amazing in game, game six. Um, I, I would have to think uh, that Nashville is going to, going to take that and that emotion and that energy and finish it off. Jeremy Roenick joins us here in studio talking about the Stanley Cup playoffs. And then there's Tampa Bay. We've got a lot of Lightning fans that listen across the state of Florida to this show. The Lightning, those were all close games. Yeah. Those were all, that was a crazy series yeah. against the Bruins. But it says something about this organization. Three years, three times in four years, they're in the conference finals. Conference finals can right? they break through to the Stanley Cup finals? Oh, they absolutely can. Uh, and if you look at their roster, I mean, they are, they are stacked four lines. I think offensively, they're they're better than the Caps. Defensively, they're better than the Caps. I think goaltending-wise can be a toss-up. I think if Vasilevsky gets really hot, he might have the edge. Um, but this is a team that plays fast, that play creative, their power play is on fire. Uh, they, they are impressive. And what makes it even more impressive is what happened to Tampa during the regular season against the Bruins. They got smoked. I mean, they didn't have a lead against the Boston Bruins until – the last game, their last game of the season, and it was the first period of four games. Mm. And then they were able to finish off the Bruins in, in, in five. So uh, they're an impressive team, and they're, they're definitely a lot stronger now than they were during the regular season. Jeremy Roenick has a lot of great accolades over the course of his career. Nine-time All-Star, silver medal in the Olympics, so many great accolades. However, one of the greatest is that he was named one of the top ten video game athletes yes, of all sir. time. And so we wanted to queue up I love it. your Stanley Cup NHL 94 the video best. game theme That's song. my claim to fame, by the way. I wish I was as good in regular hockey as I was on 94. <laughs> That's, you know, it was, you know, it was in Swingers. My boy Vince Vaughn put it. You know, it's not so much me. It's Ronick. He's good. Um, yeah, just one of those things that will we'll always. I didn't win the Stanley Cup, but I can I can raise over the 95 and 94 Sega, right? <laughs> so pretty crazy. We love playing this song here throughout because uh, we're all old school video game fans here. So we love playing this song. And every time you play this, you just think about how dominant you were in that game. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, great, pretty crazy. Great squad. Yeah, a lot of people. That's the one, the one thing that people talk to me about the most in the course of my day. Really? No question about it. It comes up every single day. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Yeah. So you're working with Coors Light here, and yeah. behind you we've got the the Stanley Cup, or we've got yep. uh, we've got the hockey net, we've yep. got the Coors Light logos, we've got the sticks, and then is that is that a draft that we can pull there? What do we got there? That uh, that's, the, I don't even know what that, that looks, is. That doesn't. Oh, that crushes the can. Crush the can. Oh, oh, oh okay. the can crusher. That's the can crusher. That's the can crusher. Okay. I usually nice. crush them like you said on my yeah, head. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Coors, Coors Light has been has been a great supporter of the National Hockey League uh, for for many years, and I've gone through, like I said, through the season meeting fans. You know, you go into the Coors Coors Light Rewards app, and you can get you can get swag, you can get these really interesting experiences to either go to games, they get tickets to games, meet play you know players like myself. We've done Mike Richter. I mean, I can t- I can name off tens of people that uh, these fans have been able to meet through through Coors Light. They, they just want to make the fan experience to watch a game more in, in, in inviting and, and more exciting. And, and the fan and experience at a Stanley Cup playoff game is already ridiculous. It's ridiculous. already ridiculous. Like next level. Exactly. And so, so Coors Light takes that one step further, right, to get to meet the, some of the players, some, meet some of the ex-players, um, you know, win tickets and good tickets. The swag that they get is great. Yeah, so we shoot crush cans at the uh, at the corners, you know, that <laughs> at our, our at our at our net here. So. We're actually going to do that during break with you. Yeah. And you, know so, many, you know how many people have beaten me shooting crush cans? Really? At these so you targets? get some talent out there? Oh, huh? absolutely. I mean, we get some really terrible people at it too, but. <laughs> It's a lot different shooting crush cans and pucks. I got a feeling that a bunch of the the hockey fans that you talk to have some experience with crushed, crushed beer cans yes. and uh, and a wrist shot. Who, who would have thought that being a you know when I was growing up, you know, drinking beer and crushing cans and shooting them on the driveway, that I would actually be doing this. There would be a talent there for you know for a real real beer company like Coors Light. It's, <laughs> yeah. it just comes full circle. <laughs> so you can watch this during commercial break. We're going to have this at the watchda.com simulcast, then also on Facebook Live. So go to facebook.com slash the DA show. And we will be smashing and then crushing and then slap shotting <laughs> the beer cans. <laughs> That's right. That's with it. Jeremy Roenick should be pretty cool. 
What would have been, who would have been the, the player that you played with or in your era that would have been maybe the best or most interesting at shooting a beer can into a, a net? Uh, that's a good question. You know, a guy that I played against probably would probably, actually, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say somebody I played with, a goaltender that I played with in Philadelphia. His name is Robert Esch. Yeah. One of the greatest guys in the world. I, I, I He could put down Coors Lights by, you know, <laughs> by the tens, by the tens. And it was like Give him crush, a case, he was all right. crush, boom, crush, boom. He, he can do anything with a Coors Light can. There's no question about it. I was thinking Ally Afraidy. Ally Afraidy. How about his slap shot with a Coors yes. Light crushed can? Well, the thing would disintegrate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, disintegrate. <laughs> I don't know if he knew where it was going, where it was going either, but uh, he would definitely hit it hard. I wouldn't stand in front of that one. No way. What's... Al McGinnis. Al oh, McGinnis, yeah. yes. With his curve, everybody's in play there oh that's right yeah everybody's in play that thing's not going right where he wants it what's been one of the best in-game atmospheres or the best in-game atmosphere you've been to this season oh uh, it's the outdoor games you yeah. know we did the outdoor game in um in uh in washington for the capitals toronto and we did it at uh at the military military uh, academy it was just absolutely spectacular in annapolis and uh, the weather was great little windy but uh, the fans came out by the by the by the boatloads, and uh, it was just a real cool experience, you know, being on with all the cadets and 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 you know the midshipmen, and really finding uh, finding what it's all about for in the military, and giving them yeah. like, homage of being there. And, and the fans are great; they came yeah. out and shot pucks. We hit a lot of a lot of beers, and hey, listen. You know, those 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 military men, they know how to drink beer. There's no question. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no, they can put them down. Put them yeah. down with the best of them. Very cool. Jeremy Roenick joining us here in studio. As we mentioned, Coors Light is teaming up with the Elevate the NHL Fan Experience. Download the Coors Light Rewards in the app or Google Play Store right now to start earning points. We're going to do this game in the break right now. And uh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's catch Roenick over here. Crushing the beer kick. I want to crush one as well. You got to crush one. That's a perfect oh, one to that's crush. Nice. That thing's going to have some heat that's on it nice. right there. I just want to know who drank these. Did you drink these? Or <laughs> I could have used one before the show, actually. Right, let's get I, one I'm, I'm going to plead the fifth on this. Oh, oh that's <laughs> yeah, so that's well done. Nice. That's really nice. Let's that's get good. that last one. Let's get that that's last good. one. Is that good? Yeah. One more. And then we'll go two for two. Two for two. Oh. Very nice. That takes out some aggression. It's nice. It's good. All right. Here we go. Okay. We're lining up. Oh, this is the one. Oh, oh my gosh. Now, do I just get, I, they don't break apart, right? Nope. Okay, then you just got to take See if you can. I've been, I've been beaten many times before, so. Try to lift it. It's got some heat on that. If this sails over and goes into the bosses and hits them in the head, it wasn't me. That was wrong. We got you covered. I got good insurance. Here, do this good one that I crush. That's a good one. Then. Actually, hey, you hit the hardest. Let's let's get Mraz in here because Mraz played a little street hockey. Here. So let's see. You got four shots. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, buddy. One for one. Hey, there we go. All right. That's 500. That's not bad. So. That's that not was, bad. That was pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> you did better than the guy who scored 500 goals. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got that one. <laughs> Here comes Jen. Not bad. That is great. Not bad. <laughs> that is great. Whereas, take one from down here. I like this shot. I want to see how this looks. Now, is nice there any? Hockey, right? Yeah. Nice yeah. hockey. That's fantastic. Thanks. Good wrist shot. Is there any minimum of beers that you need to crush before you play this? I feel like. Listen, the more that you crush, the more fun you have. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> right? So I would, I would definitely say a minimum of three. <laughs> a minimum of three. Minimum of three. After yeah. that, it becomes a lot of fun. Now, uh, fans can download the Coors Light app. Yep. Is They're, that right? It's Coors Light Rewards app. It's okay. on Google Play or your app store. And when, when swag, like I got right here, very nice swag, some tickets to games, really cool personal experiences. We make it better for you guys.
And you could sing in your head the NHL 94 theme song. He's good. 